Alright, welcome back to this episode um, in making a game in UE5. Last time we gave our character the dash ability where she turned into some particles and she can dash. Um, this time I wanted to give her a second ability, which um, I was thinking more like a uh, ability to like shrink and, and grow bigger. Because I want to put little cavities in the, into these walls so that she can use that ability to go through different rooms. So let's work on her shrinking ability and growing ability. Um, you can make this however you want to. I'm just going to make her shrink down and grow back up to the same size. You can make her grow up and shrink back down if you want to, but just follow along and I'll show you how to do it. First thing we want to do is we want to create the button for shrinking. So go to your edit project settings and then find input on the left hand side. And we need to create a new action mapping. So press plus and we're going to call this one shrink. For the key, I'm going to use the, the Z key. And for the game, if you're using the gamepad, I want you to use the down on the D-pad. So let's find D-pad down. Uh, there we go. Perfect. That's good. Next thing we need to do is go into our blueprint for our character. Oh, here's something. We can go ahead and comment that. Let's get that out the way. And that's our dash, by the way. Okay. Find an empty space and right click and type in shrink. And we want the action event, not the list. So get the action event shrink. And then off the press, what we want to do is we want to pull off and press a flip flop. And the reason why is because when we press this button, we want it to shrink. And then when we press it again, we want it to grow back to the regular size. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to pull off and say what we want to shrink. So I want to shrink the mesh. And when we press the button, I want to shrink it down. So let's set the scale. Um, scale is going to be the world scale is what we want. It's the world scale 3D. So you set that and make sure all of them are at 0.5 or else your thing is going to look cr pretty crazy. And then we're going to copy that for the B and put it down there as well. So set all of them to 0.5 and then for the copy we're going to set all of them to 1. So copy, paste, and just change all of them to 1. Alright, perfect. Make sure that your target is hooked up to the mesh for the bottom one as well. Next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and uh, disable the cloth physics. And the reason why is because uh, when she shrinks down, it's something happened with the physics which it doesn't really work like the way I want it to. So we're going to set disable um, cloth simulation right here. So we need this two times. For the top one, we want it to be disabled. And for the bottom one, we want it to not be disabled. So we want her dress to start moving when she gets regular size. Now make sure that target is hooked up. And let's go over this code. So when they press the shrink button first time, then the character should shrink down to half their size. And the cloth physics should turn off. When they press the button again, the character should grow back to the original size and the cloth physics should turn back on. Let's double check and see if that works. This is going to be a short video if that does work. If not, we'll fix it. So we've got her and we press the Z and now she's shrinking down. Everything looks good. <laughs> and you press Z again, now she's regular size. So that's how you shrink and grow your character in UE5. Uh, I hope that you learned something cool today because that is all we're going to go over today, um, or at least in this episode. Um, in the next episode, we'll give her one more ability. And then I was thinking about, actually, I know a lot of people like guns in video games. So I was thinking about maybe putting a gun in here and some enemies to shoot at. So um, join me next episode, and we'll, we'll put in another ability. And then after that, we'll keep on rolling. I'll holler at y'all next time. Peace.